What's going on everybody? Another day, another hunt. We are at my local Target. First stop of the day. Checking out to see if they've got any decent uh, stuff or new restocks. This Target's usually pretty good. Um, I like it. It's close, so I always go there first, obviously. Um, nothing new as far as McFarland pigs. Um, I mean, pretty much all the same stuff. It's pretty much been picked clean. That was new. Uh, actually, that Harley was new. All those black suit Superman animated. Nobody wants those. I don't think people really care for the McFarlane animated take on um, the figures or his interpretation. They're really top heavy, apparently. Um, these G.I. Joe figures are really nice, too. I don't know. I never collected G.I. Joe. I've only owned maybe a handful in my life. Um, I do like the three and three quarter scale ones, though. Those are always nice. Um, these Marvel Legend figures, I swear, these internal figures like the butt of every joke. Um, those are cool too. I like those figures, of course. I mean, with the pegboards being so nice, you'd probably never open them. But they're really great. I would say like as a wall display or something like that. You know, if you had a nice large wall and you wanted to just sprawl them out all over the wall. That's something I definitely um, would do. That seems like a pretty cool use for them. That Wolverine, I think that's new. I have not seen that one. Really nice. I like that really old school, like early 80s Wolverine. All right, we're making our way to the clearance section. Nothing new over here. <laughs> Ironically enough, I actually returned that figure the other day. Um, and now I have regrets about returning it. I returned it. I don't know why. I just didn't think I really wanted it because I really kind of wanted just the Terry McGinnis. But then I, as more I looked at it, I was like, yeah, that uh, that's old school uh, Jurassic Park, uh, Laura Dern, it bears her likeness. Oh man, this thing, the Batmobile is so ugly. It just looks like a kid's toy. It does not look like an $80 toy or a collector's item. I mean, it, it's really flimsy too. I really can't complain because, I mean, at least McFarlane's getting into vehicles, so hopefully we get some more stuff like Batmobiles and whatnot. I would love to see some more Batmobiles, whatever whatever he can do. He's already done the 66 Batmobile, so I don't know what else he can do in store. Maybe, maybe we'll even get the White Knight Batmobile. That would be awesome. All right, so over here we're making our way to the NECA section. As you can see, pretty much the standard stuff. Nothing's really been replenished. Still got Holothon bags. Still got plushies. Um, yeah, standard stuff. Nothing really stand out. Uh, all right, so as we're looking over here, again, it's been pretty picked through. I see a lot of people putting the uh, McFarlane figures from the toy aisle over here a lot of the times, even though there are peg hooks for the McFarlane over here. But just a bunch of uh, Justice League flashes, which, eh, you know, whatever. And then I did find... The Peacemaker, which is pretty cool. I think that now that I look at the likeness that they sculpted for John Cena on this model, it does look pretty good. Um, granted, it is definitely not as good as what Mattel was able to do with the wrestling figures, but it's still pretty good. All right, and let's see what else we got. Those Godzilla figures, or I should say figures, these giant scale gorilla, gorilla Godzilla figures are pretty nice. They, uh... I, I would think somebody would paint them and make them look way better. And I do want to get into collecting spawn figures. I think those spawn figures are really nice. Um, yeah, and the Princess Bride, I think. Uh, not the best work. I think that NECA probably would probably do a better job, to be honest with you. I'm not sure why uh, McFarlane got the license for Princess Bride, but I don't know. Maybe it was like a part of a deal or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's, like I said, this aisle has been pretty picked through. Nothing, um, nothing stand out really, honestly. It was kind of meh. Um, the Saigor, yeah, I, that figure is gnarly. I don't, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm in the process of looking into a new shelf because I am running out of space to display things, um, uh, especially working on the new studio space. Um, I definitely have to be efficient with the space those flash gordon peg board box the mm. again those figures definitely need to come down in price i do not i do not foresee anyone picking those up 
for the pri the same price as their other figures at thirty two ninety nine with like one accessory. I'm not sure why they're priced like that. All right, so we're headed to this GameStop, which is right down the street from that Target. Um, granted, this is really close, so I just figured I'd stop by here and see what they had. The uh, manager was telling me that they had some new Star Wars stuff that just came in, but they did not get any new McFarlane uh, merch. So, yeah, so here we have some Star Wars stuff. Nothing really was to stand out. Um, <laughs> again, the Eternals figures, and then also the Shang-Chi figures. And that, um, what was the brand? I can't remember the brand on that one. But that's like a, I think a four inch figure. Alien figure from the original movie, pretty decent. Catwoman, let's see what else we got. Yeah, just more Marvel Legends, the Fantastic Four, uh, and then the original anime Spider-Man merch. That Batgirl is still definitely a top three Batgirl. I hope, for me personally, my grail figure in terms of Batgirl would definitely be Cassandra Kane from No Man's Land. Alright, we are at Walgreens. This Walgreens is actually not too far away from that GameStop. Bam, I they've got all these Zoteki... Transformers figures, again, I have the entire set now, so I'm just, yeah, I don't need to look at them. Uh, I've got the, I've got the Aang Avatar Diamond Slake figure. Those are pretty nice. I like how they do their boxes. All right, <laughs> I know that was quick, but we're at the Best Buy now, which is actually close to that GameStop. So again, I just kind of went in a nice little radius uh, in the area and hit up those stores. I actually did not know that this aisle existed at this Best Buy. I feel so dumb because they have an end cap full of figures, but then you just have to turn the corner and then, bam, uh, you see they have a full aisle full of stuff. NECA, just all types of figures. Yeah, um, other than that, this aisle was pretty standard. They didn't really get anything too crazy. I don't think they participated in the Holothon, but they do have some nice figures. I do want that Crooked Man. It is really cool. I think they did a great job with that figure. It just it's it, it just oozes creep. It's just creep. It's like peak creep. <laughs> and of course, uh, I Goliath. So happy about that. Um, I have to still open it and play with it and you know give my two cents on it. Hopefully soon. Like I said, the studio space is coming along. Well, okay, we're moving along. <laughs> At another Target. This Target is not too far away. I don't actually, I take, this Target is actually a little bit further away. I do not believe that I've been to this Target before. So this is a, a new kind of experience for me in this Target. The layout is a little bit different. But surprisingly, if we come around this corner, actually, okay, we're looking at this real quick. Um, yeah, this, I think uh, this was like the clearance rack. Nothing, nothing was terribly exceptional. It had been really picked through pretty cleanly. Masters of the Universe figures. I don't actually think those are in clearance. I don't know why they're over there. Again, Marvel Legends. Um, Eternals figures. Again, they're just going to collect dust. And wrestling. Alright, these wrestling figures. Again, I am definitely a fan of the detail on these figures. Mattel does an excellent job with these figures. They really do. The likeness is uncanny for a lot of them. And I know that they, to save on molds, they will reuse body types and things like that. But the likeness for the main wrestlers is incredible. Really good job, Mattel. They always do a great job. I found this Han Solo. That was the only one. I hadn't seen that one. That one, I think, was newer. And, of course, you're going to have tons of Landos because for reasons, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, just a huge swath of uh, Master of the Universe figures. And all right, so they still have an end cap, or I should say, an island for Batman. Nothing really was on it. I mean, there's stuff on it, but nothing exceptional. Just got you know uh, your Batman figures. Those are actually I think were Target exclusives, um, but I think they've pretty much saturated the market now, so there's not as much demand for them, um, from what I can see. All right, I'm just combing through this aisle here. 
Um, uh, pretty much all of their McFarlane figures are standard stuff. Nothing is new. They didn't really get replenished from what I can see with any of the newer figures. It's still hazmat suit Batman, uh, gold label hazmat suits. You got the new DKR figures, which I have the whole set now. Super excited about that. Super excited. Check this out. Bam. We got the Gotham Knights Robin, which is actually a pretty decent looking figure. I really want to potentially complete the set on that. I, I, I have uh, currently Nightwing, so I have three more figures to go. I'm wondering if they'll eventually release a Batman for that line because you know Batman's going to pop up in that game. There's no way he's dead. So I'm pretty sure they will at some point release the Batman figure or maybe some other villains from that line. And then here we have the Platinum Selects Gotham Knights Batgirl, which, um, yeah, if you want to paint that, knock yourself out. Now check this out. Yellow boots. Where are the yellow boots? I just find that strange that such a glaring oversight, but, you know, I guess they really didn't think it was such a big deal. All right, so we're at the NECA section in the store. Got some Warhammer, the Predator from the Predator movie, the Fugitive Predator, which is actually a pretty cool NECA fig. Uh, and then here we go. We have She Spawn. Man, that is a nice figure. Look at all the accessories. Uh, <laughs> I swear, I just it seems like McFarlane is like just just laughing as he loads his own unique figures with guns and accessories while DC is like you can't the only thing you can have is a knife it's just really annoying I cannot wait till those accessory packs roll out I don't know what they're gonna consist of or how many there will be but um, you know I am definitely excited for those hopefully uh, we get some unique like bat base accessories like batarangs grapnel guns Maybe a little dry brushing on him, nothing too crazy, but I know McFarlane does a good job with his figures for his own uh, spawn line. They're 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 properly weathered. The detail is great, so hopefully those come out sooner than later. And then again, back here, mostly everything back there was T1000, uh, Pursuit T1000, and then of course standard T1000. Um, I guess you would call him Maul T-1000 without the cop helmet. And McCreary, that is an awesome figure. I really like the detail on that. The Annabelle is pretty creepy. I don't know who's gonna, <laughs> who's gonna buy that. The movie was so creepy. Um, but they did a good job with that Annabelle figure for sure. And then there's the Maul, I guess the Maul T-1000 I call him. No, no Arnolds, of course, and Sarah Connor, you could forget it, that figure. Especially the Sarah Connor Terminator 2 dual pack with John Connor. Never seen that in the wild. I think this is Biff. Oh, no, excuse me, Rock and Roll Marty McFly. Haven't seen that. Again, you know, it's amazing how just in all these hunts, you know, you would think stores would have similar inventory, but no, they all get different inventory. And it, it never ceases to amaze me how things can be so wildly different between locations. That hatchet uh, hatchet figure, I guess, uh, Crowley? Hester Crowley, I think? What a figure. And Victor Crowley, what a figure. I mean, the hair, what a nice touch. The actual real kind of flowing hair. Um, that figure is pretty nice. I do like the old school kind of pegboard they put on there. And then that looks new. The... The Toonie Terrors. Oh, actually, I don't think it's the Toonie Terror, but it's a Toon inspired Back to the Future Doc Brown figure, which is nice. Um, I don't know if any of you out there collect uh, those Toon figures, but I think they're pretty nice. All right, and here is their NECA end cap, and check this out. I have not seen one of these in the wild. I personally love the Phantom. I'm a huge fan of the 1995 movie or 97 movie. One of those years. Um, I do have the 85th anniversary edition Phantom, and I have yet to open the box, but I am very excited to do a review on it. I'm just waiting for, like I said, the equipment and everything to come in. But that figure, I, I'm, I just, it just looks so good. The musculature of the sculpt, NECA did an excellent job 
with those figures. Um, but I still think the 85th anniversary edition is definitely the superior one because it does have the dual guns, the the cool phantom tights. <laughs> and then I also found this Halloween 3 3 pack, which is pretty creepy because if you've seen the film at all, you know what happens to those kids. And now we are at another Best Buy. Okay, we have Etrigan. Picked up an Etrigan the other day, and I also picked up the King Shazam. When those were on sale for like eight bucks, if you've seen my other videos, um, Best Buy that was a hell of a deal. Um, again, they have very similar inventory, nothing too crazy. And this is another end cap over here. That is an Assassin's Creed Valhalla figure, pretty decent in terms of detail. It's like thirty-five bucks. I'm sure an Assassin's Creed fan would probably love to have that. Personally, I haven't played the franchise seriously in like since Unity, so I I just don't care really much anymore. I don't know my interest in video games is like so selective these days. I just never. Sometimes I don't have the energy to play. Sometimes I do want to play, um, and I just fall asleep. I guess that's part of being an adult, falling asleep in front of the TV. Um, again, <laughs> Red Hood without guns. <laughs> Just, it's hilarious. I think that the trolling with the uh, shooty bang bang hands is hilarious. Hopefully, um, I know that third parties and other artists are definitely making custom parts for those. They're making a killing while Warner Brothers sits on the sidelines. Hopefully, their new with their new acquisition um, to the, their new partnership, that changes. Because, yeah, everyone's annoyed by those no gun policy. All right, last target of the day. Uh, let's see. Hopefully they replenish some of their holothon figures. It is later on in the day, so it's very likely that I missed out. But you never know. So, see you inside. You know, kill time. All right, so first aisle of the store would be... Ah, it's the action figs, of course. Why not? Um, nothing too crazy. Master of the Universe figures, they have quite a few, and they have those old school, um, what am I trying to say? Old school style Master of the Universe figures, straight out of the 80s. Um, the paint on those is pretty cool, and they have a nice little variety to them. The price is, mm, I think they are maybe asking a little bit too much for such limited articulation. Picked up that Armored Batman the other day. Um, I do want to paint my armored Batman, but I'm a little bit hesitant, um, just because I'm a novice and I don't want to screw it up, but I do want to paint them and I've seen what people are doing out there and it is absolutely incredible, those armored Batmans. That is probably one of the best Supermans that McFarlane has released, definitely. I don't think you really are going to find a better Superman right now on the line. Besides, I think that the DKR Superman is pretty good, too. Okay, I take it back. DKR Superman is good. And we make our way to the NECA section. Tons of pops, of course, because you're always going to have tons of pops. I knew that I never could get into pops when I found the Trix pop. Because, why? Because you can, I guess, right? <sighs> I have a good friend. He loves pops. And I usually will, if I find a unique one, I'll buy it and I'll send it to them. Um, but for me, it's just pop hunting is so daunting. It, there are just so many. I mean, some people have thousands of pops and it's just like, geez, where are you going to put them all? You know, and of course, you generally never take them out of the box. So they're just these rectangular, uh, you know, blocks that you have to kind of stack around the perimeter of your room. All right, today's recap. I went to four Targets, one Walgreens, and one Best Buy. Uh, initially, oh, and a GameStop. Initially, I wasn't going to really go all out today just because I felt like I had so much work to do with the toys that I've already gotten. I have uh, just a loads of things to do in general. Um, oh, and then also, <laughs> I'm so scatterbrained, I stopped by uh, a really cool toy shop called Toy Du Jour in Chicago. Really great shop. They have, I mean, everything, arranging from GI Joe to NECA TMNT. Uh, just they have like a section of Build a Fig 
parts. A really great place. Um, owner's really cool. And uh, one of my hauls today was good old Pinhead. Oh yeah. As you can see, if you check my Instagram, I'm already just taking all the cool photos with him. Really great figure. Uh, I mean, it was complete. It was loose, but it's immaculate uh, in terms of its condition. This is definitely a standout. I didn't know this figure was this good. Uh, also, I all the targets I went to were not replenished on their Holothon uh, figures or any type of other merch. I mean, there was a few things, but nothing that was new. So I was kind of disappointed from that standpoint. But uh, hopefully by Friday, we should definitely see some new drops. Hopefully, I'm trying, still trying to get that Demona and still trying to get that Brooklyn so I can get the Goliath cape because <laughs> that's probably the only way you're going to be able to get it. Uh, and then also today, my only other haul that I, well, the only other thing I picked up was this Todd McFarlane inspired or designed Wonder Woman. Um, I had to pick it up. Review Spot did a review on it the other day. And he convinced me. When I saw it, I'm like, yeah, okay, it's really cool. It's probably one of the best Wonder Womans that they actually have put out. And hopefully soon I will do a review on this bad boy or bad girl. Um, yeah, so other than that, that is pretty much it for today. Please check out the Instagram. Uh, I also have a TikTok. If you get a chance, uh, check them out. Um, my girlfriend's really giving me a hand with all the social media plugs and everything like that. Helped me set that up. So I'm really grateful for that. And yeah, so hopefully, uh, this is actually the studio space for now. It's a, still a work in progress, but uh, hopefully soon it'll be a lot uh, better in terms of its condition to start shooting in here and whatnot. So I'm looking forward to that as well. So yeah, that is it. You guys have a great day and I'll check you on the next video. Peace.